Hey YouTube, this is Callie for the California Perspective, and today we are discussing why you shouldn't believe the hype of Operation Warp Speed for the Pfizer BioNTech coronavirus vaccine. Trump supporters are pointing to Trump and his initiative Operation Warp Speed for the speed at which the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine is making it to the market. Speaking to a friend of mine, he pointed to the vaccine as being thanks to Trump's Operation Warp Speed. I sent him information from UIC infectious disease director Richard Novak, indicating that the reason for the quickness of the vaccine creation and production was from research from the 2003 SARS outbreak, the virus's genetic code in January uh, being released from China, and the fact that the vaccine was developed in Europe. Belgium is where it was actually produced. This was the response I received from my friend. It doesn't matter. Under seven months, my cousin is a longtime pharmacist in Coral Gables. Lots of contacts in pharmacy industry. Genetech. A vaccine under one year is a miracle. And I know another pharmacist very well since 1996. Old bee baller I hooped with. Santa Clara County Valley Medical. Multiple vaccines in production, a stunning success. Liberal media and Trump haters only want to downplay it because they are biased, hashtag truth. The reduction of regulatory in between stages of production was a game changer. Would have taken at least 1.5 to two years if they kept those regulations in place. Both told me Moderna is legit. Could be some side effects, example, people with allergy. Even flu vaccines have side effects, and that's been out a long time. So take your two shots, thank Trump for the private sector pharmaceutical industry. Trump may have provided vaccine production modifications. I actually haven't found enough evidence either way. But the development of the Pfizer vaccine was in Germany by an immigrant Turkish couple, Dr. Aslam Tereci and Dr. Yugur Sahin. And production was international. The vaccine itself was manufactured in Belgium and it was flown to the United States. We can all pretend that American exceptionalism under Trump made the first vaccine to come to the US, but that leaves out all the other pieces. And who does that even benefit? It would all be to put a feather in the cap of the man who ignored the outbreak playbook that was left by the Obama administration. Or how about the guy who blocked some incoming travel from China, but not all of it, and for a month left travel from Italy unencumbered? which is where the outbreak in New York originated. Or how about the guy who left mask wearing as a political statement and whose many followers still refuse to wear masks, resulting in over 300,000 deaths of people in America. Or the guy still throwing Christmas parties at the White House, whose party a few months ago led to the super spreader event affecting many people in the White House, including the president himself. No, it is not American exceptionalism, or xenophobia that is helping the US. It is international cooperation and the denouncement of ignorance that will help preserve lives in the United States. That's it for now. Be sensible, be caring, and take care of each other. We'll see you in the next one.